bust. The feds arrest these two men for what they describe as an online dating scheme. Tonight, they fear there could be more victims out there. Good evening. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. U.S. Marshals say the duo pretended to be Homeland Security agents to prey on hopeful romantics looking for love. News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval joins us live at the federal courthouse in Orlando with more on this investigation. So, Eric, how did this all work? Well, Lisa, these guys would post these romance ads online pretending that they were women. And when men bit, they would contact them pretending that they were federal agents. And they ended up extorting these men for a lot of money. I love making money. Real federal agents say this is a Facebook video made by 28-year-old Ronnie Montgomery. They say he was collecting some of the money that he and a friend, John Pierre Mack, made in an elaborate scheme. Investigators say the pair would post an ad on Craigslist pretending to be a woman looking for a date. They would email back and forth with interested men. And when they got their phone numbers, detectives say they would call them pretending to be agents with Homeland Security's Cyber Crime Center. Victims told investigators the men would tell them the women they were talking to were really children and they were going to be arrested. But they could make it all go away if they paid a fine. This is basically like another day at the office for a new, you know? Investigators say this video shows Montgomery collecting $600 from a Walmart, where one of the victims sent him a money gram. Agents say Mac is a former Florida National Guard member discharged for being AWOL. They said he focused on members of the military online because they were more likely to pay to avoid being arrested. Their pretend fines? ranged from 200 to nearly $2,000. Show me what you're working with, miss. Okay. That's all from me? Oh, you Santa Claus. Now we checked and both of these men are in the Seminole County Jail being held on no bond tonight. Federal investigators tell us there may be more victims in this case. There also may be more arrests as well. We are live at the federal courthouse in downtown Orlando tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Lisa. Eric, thank you.